हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट फोर्थ पार्ट फोर्थ ऑफ द सेकेंड चैप्टर इन दिस टॉपिक आई विल कवर द वर्क डन द ग्राफ ऑफ वर्क डन बाई अ वेरिएबल फोर्स द ग्राफ ऑफ वर्क डन बाई अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स एंड यूनिट्स ऑफ वर्क ओके सो I am reminding you all that we in the previous lecture, in the previous part of the second chapter, we have discussed about the formula expression of work, okay, and how to find the component of force along displacement and component of displacement along force. Now, moving to the next part, okay. First here. work done by variable force first understand what is variable force first of all understand it please what is variable force if i am applying some force on this and my force is just changing i am applying 1 newton 2 newton 3 newton 4 newton 5 newton 6 newton and so on just changing my value as the displacement changes the value of force is just changing according to the displacement that force is called as variable force if the force is constant means force is fixed here force is not fixed according to need of displacement the force is just changing its value that means the force is variable here force and displacement are related to each other force and displacement are directly proportional to each other if displacement is increased means that force is increased if force is increased means that displacement is increased. both are directly to each other if i am increasing displacement the need of force is should be increases if i am increasing force the displacement may increase okay so that's why this condition is a, of variable force okay here i have to find the work work graph of work okay that's why this line o to a is a straight line that's according to the need of displacement the force is just changing according change of displacement the force is just increasing so area area occupied area <coughs> occupied in, by this graph will give you the magnitude of work okay so area as we know that work will become area or space okay so work is equal to 1 by 2 area of triangle area of triangle simply i may write it also area of triangle name this a o b or b o a a o b a o b okay so it is a right angle triangle so 1 by 2 into base base is displacement is you may also write it as ob into height height is ba or of so i am writing it as ba just putting the value 1 by 2 into displacement is into force f you may you will find that a work done by a variable force fs this will be the work done by done in this according to this graph okay now if force is constant means whatever be the displacement it does not need that force will change force is fixed i am applying 1 newton force on this body and continuously if it changing 2 meter 5 meter 7 meter displacement whatever be 10 100000 meter kilometer displacement will be at least my force is present is only 1 newton that is my force is constant 
that is called as work done by a constant force here a some fixed force f is applied some fixed force f is applied okay and whatever be the displacement in this area of rectangle or area of a square will give you the work done okay so work done will be equal to area of a square or you will say that a square or rectangle whatever will the graph okay so now area of here rectangle area of rectangle okay so length into width that's why work done will be equal to force f s okay according to this graph now come to the point unit of work unit of work means <coughs> whatever the notation the si unit of work is joule si unit of work is joule okay a question is our mind that what is joule what is one joule okay one joule one joule work is done when a force of 1 newton applied on a body and that body will displaced by 1 meter in the direction of force if let's say that there is a body of mass a and if i am applying a force of 1 newton force of 1 newton okay on this body and this body is displaced and this body is displaced by 1 meter 1 meter okay here the work done will be of 1 joule so work done is equal to force into displacement as we know that force is 1 newton okay and displacement is 1 meter so here it is newton meter 1 newton meter that is called as 1 joule okay 1 newton meter that is called as 1 joule 1 newton meter means in a standard way we can write 1 newton meter is work done but for remembering joule who was the greatest scientist who have explained his life for making us understand about the work about the heat about the energy okay that's why to remembering him to honoring him we give him the si unit of work as a joule okay so one newton meter is it it called as one joule okay some other unit some bigger unit of work is kilojoule that is kj mega joule mj and giga joule g j okay so one kilojoule is equal to thousand joule okay thousand joule compa combines that is called as one joule one mega joule 10 to the power 6 joule 10 to the power 6 joule is called as one mega joule one giga joule one giga joule 10 to the power 9 joule is called as one giga joule okay now cgs unit of work is arch cgs unit of work is arch 1 joule is equal to 10 pe power 7 arch a question is in your mind that what is arch as we know that the cgs unit of force is a die 1 newton is equal to 10 pe power 5 die okay that's why we can here write 1 joule as a 1 newton meter so 1 newton is written as 10 to the power 5 die into 1 meter is converted into 100 
सेंटीमीटर कंबाइंडली बिकम टेन पे पावर सेवन टाइन इंटू सेंटीमीटर टाइन सेंटीमीटर टाइन सेंटीमीटर अनदर साइंटिस्ट आर्ज हु हैज ऑल्सो डन हिज वेरी इंपैक्टफुल वर्क इन एनर्जी दैट्स वाई ऑन हनरिंग हेम वी गिवेन हेम द एसा यूनिट इज सीजियस यूनिट ऑफ वर्क एज ए जो आर्ज टेन पे पावर सेवन आर्ज ओके वन जू इज इक्वल टू टेन पे पावर सेवन आर्ज सो हियर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस टॉपिक इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल विथ द नोमेरिकल्स ऑफ दिस टॉपिक ओके बाय थैंक यू